What's up, Trayden? Happy Throwback Thursday. Today is 80s dress up day. You can see we hit it out of the park. So far, the seniors are in the lead for Spirit Week. It's going to take an act of God to knock them off their throne. Let's keep up the fight. There's a lot of time left. Speaking of fighting, Trayden has an active peer mediation group that helps students solve their problems in peaceful ways so arguments don't escalate into fighting. Mr. Dr. Senor Williams heads up this group of calm-headed negotiators, and John Riley spoke with some of them. Many students can probably say that they've had a problem or two with one of their classmates. Peer Mediation is a branch of students who are led by Mr. Williams to help solve disputes around the school. Staff administrators and students were interviewed in hoping to find out what Peer Mediation truly is. Why do you think Peer Mediation is so important? Peer Mediation is so important because it you know, gets the um, kids in front of each other and they can talk, talk out what, has, what happened and they, you know, th there's resolution and you always have a, a closure to um, if, if, if there was a problem with things like that. I think peer mediation is important because it turns students into problem solvers and it builds relationships between kids. Do you think peer mediation is successful? Um, I personally do. I've only had a few mediations, but all of mine, the, pe the people involved are able to work out their problems and so they didn't have to go to administration. And everyone else that I've talked to in the program has had successful mediations. I haven't heard really of any like not working out and having to go to administration about it. It's a really good program because it gives the peer mediators time to practice people skills that they can use outside of school in their everyday life. And it helps our fellow students because instead of getting in trouble and going to the administration, they can just kind of talk out their problems with us. I think if you have good interpersonal skills um, and you like people and you want to see people get along, get along with one another, I think you should definitely get involved. For those students who drive to school in the morning, the cost of parking a car at Triton is pretty steep. If your parents are like mine, you probably already have to pay for your insurance and gas money out of your minimum wage salary. Not to mention the daily stops at Dunks to support your caffeine habit. Another $180 for parking just about breaks the bank. So how do you do it? It turns out some students aren't doing it. They're parking without paying. VTV's super sleuth Alex Fexto is on the case. Here's what he found. So. Today, we're going to discuss these illegal cars parking out here, thinking they're all that. And so, I go up to like, I give them four notices and I say, come see me. If they don't come see me, then the fifth one, it's, you know, tow. I don't want to tow, but that's what I'm told. To do. So, people like this person thinks it's alright to just park without a stamp. Like, really? Like, who do you think you are? This is why people are getting pissed about illegal parking. Come on now. I don't take any of the money. So, you know, um, I don't, I say, nope, I'm not me. Um, our secretary brings it to the central office. And from there, they have a, it's allocated to uh, when we have um, snow and the plowing and things. This is the way you should park. The white stamp on your dashboard, and everyone can see it. So you'll be good. What's your opinion on the parking fee? Personally, I, I think it's a little too expensive. Um, I, I think you know, you know, fifty dollar range. That's you know, that's great. And I'm thinking, uh, kids have come to me. Their idea was, hey, why don't seniors like paint a picture in their space or something like that? And you're charging 50 bucks for the, that, and that's your space for the year. How much you pay for parking, Mr. You know, Brennan? Uh, you know, you know, you know how much I pay for parking. A good. Uh, Woo! And whoever, and whoever keeps keying my car, I'm coming after you. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video today on illegal parking. We do not appreciate people illegal parking out in the Triton parking lot. We'll be right back after this commercial break.
winter sports season is right around the corner. Trials for most winter sports will be happening shortly after Thanksgiving. Alexander Floodman would like you to consider joining Triton Swim and Diving Team. Here's a short promo. So Sam, are you trying out for any winter sports this season? Nah, Triton doesn't really have teams for my kind of sport. Oh really? What sports are those? Ah, uh, luge is my first love, but curling is a pretty close second. Triton doesn't have an equestrian team either, but that doesn't stop Bonnie Rose and others from our school from enjoying the sport. Hey everybody, it's Tuesday and that's usually the day I go ride my horses. So I'm wicked excited and my friend, my really good friend, Brooke, is going to give me horseback riding lesson today. So I'm wicked excited about that. It's the second period. I'm dying. Horse is a horse, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, of course, it's a famous horse whose name is Mr. Alright, All right, so I just got home from school. I'm changed and ready to go. Um, I'm, my good friend Brooke is going to give me a horseback riding lesson, so that's going to be fun. And I'm wicked excited. Let's go! This is Mandy. Say hello. Chloe. Chloe, say hi. Ooh. Chloe likes getting her ear scratched. I just got home. I'm completely dirty. It's been eventful. My rides were good and my ponies are good and I took care of my other horse, Autumn. I didn't get a video of her, but shout out to her. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna shower and live out the rest of my day. All right, bye. With Thanksgiving coming up next week, we won't have a VTV episode for you, but we'll catch you on the flip side with all the highlights from the class skits and class day competitions. For my partner Alyssa, I'm Sam. Happy Thanksgiving, Triton. Okay. Cool. Just give me, give me a second. Okay. What up, Triton? Happy. You actually said what up, Triton? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna say what's up next time. And John Riley spoke with some of them probably already have to pay for your insurance and gas money out of your minimum wage salary. Connect those. Pay for your insurance and gas money out of your minimum wage salary. Yeah, so start that. If your parents are like mine, <laughs> I'll do fine on the actual. Sure okay. 
Mm -hmm. This one's for realsies. Realsies, guys. <laughs> we'll be. <coughs> <laughs> That's going in the first. Frog in my throat, sorry about that. We'll be right back after this commercial. <laughs> Trying doesn't have an equidestrian team either. Equidestrian? Is that, is that <laughs> equidestrian. <laughs> but we'll catch you on the flip flop with all the highlights. All right, can I It'll be go back thing. up? No, no, not gonna happen. No. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah.